Hi everyone, today I am going to be purchasing the Morgans that are being retired. Okay, I say that and it sounds like I'm gonna be buying all the Morgans. Okay, that is not the case. Uh, plot twist, I didn't actually end up buying any because I didn't want to spend my precious star coins on old horses and I already have one old Morgan that I really love, so... You know, that was supposed to be the point of the entire video, but instead I went all over the place. So then I didn't know what to do with this video, and Harper Fall Star right here titled the video for me. So thank you very much. It just kind of struck me by surprise when I looked at the news and saw that they were going to be retiring the breed. There's not an updated Morgan. I swear, knowing my luck, I will post this and tomorrow or something like that there will be a spoiler post being like new morgan breed updated morgans and i'll just be sitting here like and then something else that happened the pentabians who were the racing horses they had their speed decreased so this part about the pentabians getting their speed changed I had so much trouble articulating my thoughts because I am not a racer. If anybody knows me, I'm not a racer. Do, 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 do. Come on, carrot. Come on, dude. You can do this. Woo, carrots! Yay, buddy! Yay, carrots! I don't think that there should be one particular horse that is just automatically faster than any other horse, but yet I also feel terrible that people's racing horses overnight were just changed. Same with changing gates on horses without communicating. So this is one of the Morgans that are being, oh my god. Ferdinand's horse market is the exact, oh my god, I don't want to do this is the exact opposite direction. I know where I'm going. I think I'm just thinking about so many other things that I'm just not paying attention. I should talk about the new horses that came out. I mean, what? No, they didn't come out yet. I hate the horn on them. They are too moldy looking, but I have seen so many people do, you know, recolors and fan art versions of them that look absolutely gorgeous. And they've said that they're like, autumnal that is such an awkward word but anyway they look moldy there have been so many times though where i don't buy the magic horses there's a lot of magic horses that i absolutely hate but then there are some that i am drop dead in love with like the ayla for example oh my goodness bibble <coughs> She is my favorite magical horse in the entire game. And then there are some Akultik bodied fish horses that I know a ton of people hate, but I actually don't mind those ones as much. I feel like it's so opinionated with magic horses because they are so stylized that they only fit a certain population of star stable players. Oh goodness. This generation of horse is no longer supported. Okay, they do need to take that disclaimer off because the Gen 2 Arabians did get their speed changed and that was additional work, so I actually sold this Morgan and I had named her Apricot and she was in one of my selling videos, but now I regret that so much. She is actually cute, she's kind of basic. This is the one I have already, her name is Klondike. She is beautiful, I love her. This is the silver dapple that I actually wanted. Now I'm having second thoughts just because of the way that the mane and tail look. They just look so dirty. The cream one is very cute. I could have made this one the new Flora instead of making the new Flora an Aquatique. I feel like this horse is pretty popular. I've seen a lot of people, well, not currently, but in the past, I saw so many people riding this Morgan. This model has been very popular, I feel like, and I've just always had an unpopular opinion that I don't enjoy this breed, except this coat is actually really pretty. It looks splatter painted, but I love it anyway, actually. This horse, I feel like, was very popular in the past. I have a feeling they're going to get rid of these next. I have Splash, this Splash horse. I've almost sold Splash a bunch of times, but I feel like I shouldn't now just because they're going to be retired. And I think once this horse gets retired, I think I'm going to buy this gray one because this one actually has a really unique coat. Oh, I still have this horse, Wasabi. I don't have any of these other ones because I just hate that they're mirrored. Ah, oh, it bothers me so much. This is a weird spot on the muzzle. I don't know, man. I've 
sold a bunch of stuff in my closet because there's so many things that I don't wear. I know I'm wearing like the same exact outfit that I keep wearing just because I'm obsessed with this new top and the new gloves and the bag, but I have organized my closet more. I've gotten rid of a lot of things that I feel like I don't wear or I, you know, have never worn. And so my closet is looking a lot better. I was going to sell a bunch of these tops because I was like, why do they have two pockets? Usually shirts like this have one pocket on one side. And then I went back on it and I was like, you know what? I actually do like this. And you know, if they have two boob pockets, like I can get over it, okay? Whatever. I've started to get rid of, well, not even started. I've actually gotten rid of a lot of older saddles just because, see like this one, I'm not gonna wear this one actually. What is this girth? I didn't even realize that. I didn't even notice that. So now I have to put that in my, I'm gonna put that in my selling pile. But our characters are very small. And so they don't fit in the saddle. You're not supposed to have this much space behind your butt. There are so many things that I don't use just because I'm so basic sometimes, like <laughs> I wear the same black tack all the time or brown tack, but I did change the bridle on this Pasofino just because the new black one, what the frick, but it looks grayish and so it doesn't match the saddle that well. And also the older one fits the horse better, it's more correct with the nose placement. The crazy thing is this isn't even the drop noseband one. I should try on a drop noseband on this Pasifino. Look how low this is. But anyway, that's why I switched to this bridle and then I casually have my fish out. Something I also wish is that you could keep your magical horse on the non-magical coat. I love the non-magical coat. This Zorse looking coat, so cute but I wish you could keep it that way so that when you log back on, it would stay. I've been obsessed with reshade. I'm gonna put on basic, but why is it messed up? It's ruined, no. It does this all the time. So I've been playing with the reshade on and it makes the game so beautiful. It's so clear and pretty. Ebba Deerwin's presets. I have a powerful desktop. If I were making this video on my laptop, it would just be glitching. I would probably be screaming because the laptop would be burning me. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your opinions on, you know, Star Stable changing the speed of horses, Star Stable retiring horses. You know, I just want to know what you guys think of that because everybody I've seen, you know, on social media and stuff, people have way different opinions from each other. I just feel like it's very controversial. I think communication needs to be the biggest factor with all of these situations. They have been communicating about certain things, like horses being retired, giving people reminders basically every week. But there's other types of things, for example, changing gates, changing speeds. Basically, I'm saying Star Stable's making the entire situation worse by not communicating with the players about those certain things. There's some things that they do a great job communicating on, and then there's other things, absolutely no. Thanks for watching, bye.